today I'm going to be sharing with you top 10 tips for starting a business. The first one is how do you generate a business idea? In my case, it started from a problem that I had, which is I'm a size 48, and that means I, I've got a big feet and I tend to have to wear shoes that are bigger than the regular um, person. So most times I struggle to find shoes that are my size, or when I find shoes that are my size, uh, most of them are not really the kind of design or style that I like. So I decided to solve that personal problem by actually creating my own company that would make shoes for me and for other people that would have um, similar challenges. The second point about um, starting a business is you have to do your research. In my case, I decided to go to a school in the Netherlands to learn how to make sneakers. And I also did a lot of research in terms of finding out if there was actually any sneaker company in Nigeria or in Africa that was trying to appeal to that um, segment of people. And there was none. And so that also helped me to um, you know, reaffirm that the idea made a lot of sense. The third point is don't go it alone. In my case, um, when I had the idea, I ran this through a couple of friends, family, uh, those are the first point of people that you need to talk to. And then more importantly, you look for professionals that are also um, experts in their different fields and you try to run your ideas through them because you're going to have a lot of challenges in being able to think through the whole thing. So don't go it alone. That is tip number three. Tip number four is you have to create a business plan. So um, I don't believe that we need to create a very wordy document. What is very important is to break down the different elements of how you want to get your business done. You have to do a write-up, which talks about what it is you want to achieve, how you want to achieve it. Uh, you also need to consider creating some sort of financial model. So uh, a lot of people tend to use Excel. In our case, we use Excel to create um, the financing, the costs, the, the sale price, and a lot of all the things that were required to start the business as well as to run it for a couple of months. So the next tip I have is talking about making sure that you have the money to start the business. In our own case, for example, I had started another business before then, which was profitable. So I took from the profit to start the new business, especially when it meant traveling abroad to study how to make the sneakers. For other people, they want to consider having savings. They want to look at having money from friends and family. The other thing to put into consideration when trying to raise the money is that there are opportunities for people to raise money from grants. So obviously you have to do a lot of research on the internet. Uh, Union Bank, for example, I know is working on some initiatives to fund startups. Uh, some of these might be grants and also they have SME loans that they are working towards dispersing to um, these great business ideas that have also gone through that process of validating it, like I mentioned in some of the other tips that I gave. Tip six is to be able to get professional as well as legal advice on your business um, that you're trying to start off. In our case, for example, um, the first design that I did with the sneakers was from the artwork of a gentleman called Lemmy Garioku. He did most of Fela, Fela's album covers and I, I had to basically go into an agreement with him to get the intellectual property rights to be able to use it on the sneakers. If I didn't do that and I had decided to go along with you know, launching a sneaker that had a fella inspiration in, I could have been sued or we could have got into a lot of trouble before even starting the business. By getting a lot of professional and legal advice, it saves you a lot of trouble in the long run because you don't want to start a business um, and have spent a lot of time, money and resources only to realize that you made some mistakes that you could have prevented and then end up losing a lot more money uh, at the end of the day. The next tip I have to share with you is that you have to be passionate and wise. Um, I use those words um, because um, when you're starting a business, you're going to face a lot of challenges, be it the environment or the people who are going to give you a hard time. So your passion is what is going to drive you through. In our own case, for example, we were going to start a crowdfunding campaign. Nobody had done it before in Nigeria and a lot of people were saying it wasn't going to be possible. And rather than just, you know, say, you guys don't want us to do this, I tried to focus on why they thought it wasn't going to work. And by listening, we as a team try to come up with ways to mitigate some of those perceptions in terms of challenges that we would have. So you have to be passionate, but also have the wisdom to listen to what people say that may be negative and try to find um, a way to solve or overcome those challenges that people would mention.
The next tip is start lean. Um, think zero cost if possible. Um, in our case, we wanted to start up a shoe company and I realized very quickly that it was going to cost millions of naira to set up a factory from day one. So what I did was I partnered with a Dutch company in the Netherlands uh, where I also studied and we outsourced uh, our production to them. At least we were able to start with that and again it's very important that as you start a business there are a lot of variables that you don't know. So by starting very lean we're also able to learn very quickly for example what price the market was willing to pay as well as being able to quickly go back and make changes to some of the designs that we are started off with initially. But if we are started with raising the factory from day one, we'll have invested in molds and all sorts of things that would have become obsolete. And so we'll have made a lot of mistakes very early. But by outsourcing initially, we're able to start lean and then begin to build up from there. Next tip is to earn while you can. So the idea really, again, is still tying back to starting up lean. Most businesses at the inception may not be able to pay you your salary. And so if you decide to be paid what you are worth, you probably will stifle the business and it wouldn't grow. So if, for example, you have a day job and you decide you want to keep it, you can decide to keep it and then keep running the business at the side. But it's also very important to understand that there must not be a conflict of interest. Top 10 tips for starting a business. The first one is how do you generate a business idea? you have to do your research. Don't go it alone. You have to create a business plan. Make sure that you have the money to start the business. Get professional as well as legal advice on your business um, that you're trying to start off. You have to be passionate and wise. Start lean. Um, think zero cost if possible. And while you can.